Well, hello, my name is Kevin Bisking and I'm a Senior Product Manager at National Instruments and today I'm going to talk to you about the latest technologies that are enabling virtual instrumentation. Now if you think about virtual instrumentation, at the fundamental level there's three main blocks. There's the application software, there's the processing unit, and there's the measurement control sections. And if you think about um, how virtual instrumentation systems are built today, primarily the, the use of LabVIEW as a graphical program language is at the core. And you have your multi, you have your processor, and you have things like digi digitizers, signal generators, um, RF analyzers, data acquisition devices down at this, at this level. And so, for you that are building virtual instrumentation systems, right now in LabVIEW, you're able to uh, develop a parallel loops, right? Parallel applications, parallel measurements, things like you can have digitizer happening in one loop, you can have generation happening in another loop. But one of the bottlenecks you have when you're developing these systems is you have a processor, which they can only do one thing at a time. So no matter how many parallel applications or par uh, parallel threads that you're developing in LabVIEW, you still have your processor that is your bottleneck. And so it has to prioritize it through the operating system. The next bottleneck you have, which is another hardware bottleneck, is your data bus, which connects your processor down into this area of the measurement control. And so the reason why it's a bottleneck is you have PCI, which is a very fast bus, 132 megabytes per second, but it's a shared bus. And so it doesn't scare, scale very well. If you have 10 boards, you have to share that, that bandwidth between all the, the boards that you have in the application. Um, and so there's been some challenges to those people that have been developing virtual instrumentation systems on, multi, on a single core processor and PCI based applications. Now there are, are really two new hardware technologies that are enabling uh, this, are, are solving this, this challenge. There is the introduction of multi-core processors which basically allow you to share or distribute your parallel threads in LabVIEW to individual cores and so you can now run these measurements or this analysis in parallel. So again, go back to the example of doing generation, uh, you know, acquisition generation and file I.O. You can do that through separate cores of a processor. Now the, uh, the latest data bus, PCI Express, has this also idea of a parallel path or dedicated bandwidth. And that is through these things called lanes. So you have by ones, by fours. Those are how many different lanes that you have um, in your PCI Express link. And what that allows you to do through instrumentation, a by four link, which is a standard for instrumentation, is one gigabyte per second per instrument or per device that's dedicated. So if I have a PXI Express digit or PCI Express digitizer. Um, I have a direct link from the instrument to a core into LabVIEW. If I have a PCI Express based signal generator, the same thing. I have a direct link through the core into LabVIEW. And so you can see how you have these uh, very scalable parallel paths from the app software all the way down to the measurement or the sensor that you're trying to acquire from. Now, the one question you may have in your mind is, well, what's the benefit of this? Some of you, it may be obvious to others. It may not. A couple of applications that this is beneficial. One is if you're doing inline analysis, it's very difficult to stream uh, from your measurement through the core into LabVIEW when you had a single single core processor and you had the PCI bus. With these uh, two technologies, you now can go from from sensor all the way to LabVIEW in through streaming, no delays, and you could even play that back out if you wanted to through these two technologies. Another application is high channel count uh, audio measurements. If you're you know, doing audio measurements uh, that are up to hundreds of channels, you can see how doing a shared bus, that would limit what you could do. So now if you have hundreds of boards through PCI Express with dedicated links uh, and multi-core processors, you could very easily 
acquire and analyze that data in LabVIEW. Um, and another thing that is adding in, you know, some more tools to benefit people that are using virtual instrumentation is LabVIEW 8.5, which is the latest version of LabVIEW, which has been optimized and enhanced to really target these multi-core processors with increases to the scheduling, improvements to the scheduling, as well as taking uh, improvements to the stack that's built on LabVIEW. So all the drivers that are interfacing with the instruments have been optimized to go through the multi-core processors into LabVIEW. And so um, what I'm happy to say is with these new technologies of LabVIEW 8.5, multi-core processors, and PCI Express, um, you are now have the tools that you need to develop high-performance parallel test applications.